Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss about hunting and isochronism in governors. Hunting is the fluctuation of speed continuously above and below the mean speed and hunting happens because of oversensitiveness of governor. Now, before we discuss hunting, we need to know what is sensitiveness of a governor. So, a governor is sensitive when it responds actively and very rapidly to even the minute or a fractional change of speed. So, this is a desirable property or a factor of a governor but in case governor is too sensitive that means it changes the fuel supply by extremely large amount even when there is small change in speed hunting takes place let's take an example if load on engine increases speed decreases if the governor is highly sensitive sleeve will fall instantly to lowest position and there will be large opening in the throttle valve and large amount of fuel will be supplied to the engine and this amount will be much more than the required quantity so what will happen speed will increase instantly right it will it will increase rapidly and governor it will rise to the maximum position now because the governor is in maximum position so it has to again control the fuel supply so the valve the throttle valve it will cut off the fuel supply to the minimum possible uh, quantity which will again will be much less than the requirement so again what will happen it will rise it will uh, lower down to the lowest position and fuel supply will increase much more than the requirement so this process it keeps on continuing infinitely it is a repeated process so your governor it the speed of the governor or the engine it fluctuates continuously above and below the mean speed therefore hunting is not a desirable property isochronism isochronism occurs when the governor has the range of speed zero that means the equilibrium at only one particular speed for all the positions if there is any change in the speed the balls on the sleeve they move instantly to the extreme positions this is not a practical uh, situation because the friction is there at the sleeve so this isochronism it implies that there is indefinite sensitivity and governor is always flying from one or the other extreme position now, even though we said that isochronism is not a possible or a practical uh, application but let's see is it possible for different types of governors so first case we have taken is for the porter governor we know the formula for height of the governor right so we have taken two cases for h1 omega 1 and h2 omega 2 now isochronism says that the range of speed is zero which means omega 1 is equal to omega 2 but we also know that h1 and h2 the height of the governor they are two different positions so it is not possible for governor to have two different positions at one speed if this becomes uh, omega let's assume so this is not possible at one single omega to be go uh, for governor to be present at two different heights so this is an impossible case now if we look at a spring governor which is a hartnell governor so this these are the equations we are not taking friction into account for isochronism omega 1 has to be equal to omega 2 so if we put this condition in these two equations we see that yes this is possible because the radius of rotation for Hartnell governor is dependent on the spring force so isochronism is a possibility in case of Hartnell governor but not in case of the gravity controlled governors thank you